It's agree. designed to all be three point games. Oh yeah, that's why tanking is so hard. People are like, man, why can't you just tank? Why, why is it so hard? Well, because the players in the locker room ain't tanking. <laughs> that's the front. The front office is tanking. All right, that, they're the ones who are making decisions to that are not in the best interest of a, for a winning football team. Right, they're not trying to win games, so they're tanking. But the players in the locker room, like uh, they man, don't understand. Like tanking. he said, they're, we're fighting for jobs. Like right. Rod, Rod right. B ain't tanking. I'm fighting for my damn job. I'm trying to get on a roster. I'm trying to make a roster. I'm trying to get to that that bonus Whoa. or that incentive, whatever it is. And the coaches, same thing. The coaches aren't necessarily tanking either. Not a head coach, he might be involved in it. But your assistant coaches, they're not tanking. Well, that's why <laughs> that's why the, the story became so huge with the Dolphins when the head coach was being offered bribes, essentially, by the owner to tank games. And he's like, we're not tanking games, we're professionals. Yeah. <laughs> now, the tanking comes from the top. That's right? the front office. Front office who does the, tank. Who had the yeah. number one pick last year? The Bears, right? Because mm-hmm. the Texans the Bears. screwed it up. But, oh. uh, but remember what they do. They traded Khalil Mack. They traded Roquan Smith during the season. Mm-hmm. Um, the, 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 you can start trading off assets. I mean, the, the, the Cardinals, yes, they nearly beat Washington. Thank you. Great but, point. <laughs> but they, they they were getting rid of it. They cut Cole McCoy. Um, you know, they're going to be they're going to fight here early, but they know they have no depth behind that. They they let go of DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, all the moves that they made ahead of it. And they'll start they'll, Isaiah Simmons was traded. Mm-hmm. They'll keep doing that. Uh, the front office knows what they want. They want Caleb Williams. Cut Cole McCoy. Players don't want that. Players, players are going to play. Yeah, we, players are playing for their job. And wait they till act- the next storyline with the Cardinals when, hey, what is is, Car- is Kyler Murray healthy? Nah, no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No, nah, we know what. Yeah, we want to make sure he's absolutely one hundred percent. And then by the time they're like <laughs> one and eight, they're going to go. Well, we're just not going to bring him back this year because we're one and eight. Why would we do that? <laughs> right? They want to maintain the the, uh, the ability to, to move. Him. And then after that, he's going to be looking great in all the workouts. Oh, yeah. oh he's amazing. Here he, comes the script. He looks better than ever. I mean, honestly, he put on muscle. He's lost the weight, and his leadership. Oh, his Leadership. He's actually stopped playing the game. He doesn't even game anymore. He's not even a game where he threw his game away, apparently, is what I heard. There's in the trash. He doesn't even play the video game. He just watches film all the time. That's what I'm hearing about Kyler Murray yeah, until he's he traded. He got rid of his game console. Yeah, he it's got gone. rid of it. <laughs> threw it away. Yeah. Uh, no. no more Call of Duty. He's now all film all the time. You guys want him. He's worth the first round draft. Yeah, he's Ball of Duty right now. That's what he's about. That's right. Yeah. You got to see it. We'll, we'll put out videos. <laughs> exactly. The the film working rooms. out. Yeah. And that's when the tanking will be. But you're right. I mean, no one, I mean, the people. We're thinking that Tampa's tanking, right? Well, no one told Baker Mayfield that. Baker Amen. Mayfield, You're right. Let's go yeah. ball out. Baker's balling uh, out. But again, I, I, you know, the whole tanking conversation, I understand players are never going to go there. The front office will help do it for them. Then it's, it's such a, a parody league that a couple of players here and there can make the difference, yes, and then the injuries will set in and, you know, that. But the players don't think about it. But look for the organization. If you can land Caleb Williams, I mean, that's a decade move. I mean, yeah. that's a, a, a generational player that sets mm-hmm. you up for a. You know, a run, and and so yes, they're, 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 it's wise at a lot of levels at the at the top. At the same time, the players and coaches aren't buying that. Uh, they will, but as they continue to take losses, though, that yeah, just by the time happen. they get to to nine, ten losses, they're like, all right, you know, I'm making vacation plans. Definitely not making the playoffs.